Hey YouTube, Corpusan here. The Explorer revamp will be fully revealed next week, but today Nexon already released a new artwork for the Explorer classes. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the new artwork together and share our opinions and hopes and dreams for the revamp. I invite everyone to share theirs as well in the comments. First up is the reveal of the three warrior classes, the Hero, Paladin and Dark Knight. I think Hero looks a bit bland with their color scheme, but overall I do like the look. Paladins look like they have a freaking modeling career on the side. <laughs> Best class and most handsome class, side me up. Dark Knight is looking pretty fierce and they look a bit more wrecked with a blood red cape. Definitely the most badass design out of all three. From the two skills that were shown earlier, which I think are Dark Impale and Gunir's Descent, it looks like Dark Knights are going to have this red color scheme skill animations as well, which fits their cape. For my hopes, I hope that Hero gets some bigger skill animations, because those are pretty laughable at the moment, especially before 5th job, and a bit more range and damage for best class Paladin wouldn't hurt either, I think. Also notice how both Dark Knight and Hero have a scar on their face, but Paladin doesn't. I think that's a nod to how Paladins never just take any damage. Next up are the three Explorer Mages, the Ice Lighting Mage, the Fire Poison Mage and the Bishop. I think all three look pretty cool. I never actually thought about half their magic coming from their books, which is their secondary weapons. That's pretty dope. It would actually be kind of sick if every class started out with their artwork outfit once they complete the second job advancement, like you get that at level 30. That would be pretty neat. For the Mages, I definitely hope that their first and second job skills are going to be a bit better and just more fun to train with. Their skill animations, especially in their second job, are kind of dull and small compared to most new classes in my opinion. I don't want big explosions or anything like that like Lara, but definitely something that feels a bit more impactful. I'm actually not sure what else I would want from mages, maybe magic claw back. I think they're in pretty okay spots at the moment. Perhaps a bit more damage for bishops would be kind of fun actually if they rose to the top again of the damage charge. Just like they did in the past, that would be kind of neat. The next two classes are the Explorer Bowmaster and Marksman. Looks like Pathfinder is going to be left out of this rework. It's a pretty recent class, so it kind of makes sense. Plus, Pathfinder already has a lot of cool artwork and skills as well. They still might receive some changes, but probably nothing major like the other Explorer classes. I really like Bowmaster's design, actually. Very Archer-like. And next one really went and gave Marksman a little tooth there. Wow. We actually already have seen some of the new skill animations for Marksman. Looks like it will be go big or go home for this class. With every few attacks, their pierce and snipe seems to get empowered to deal more damage and hit more monsters. I'm down for that, way better than that range mechanic in my opinion. Now this is personal for me, but I think that bow monsters feel quite lackluster with the skill animations. Their equipment mechanic is fine, but it's just not very visual. This does make for a nice clean class, but it also felt like nothing was very impactful if that makes sense. Because other classes can like summon entire mechs and you're just left there firing a few more arrows, which kind of feels, you know, hopefully that will still be improved, but looking at the marksman skills, I have quite high hopes for that. Then there are the Thief classes, the Night Lord, Shadower and Dual Blade. Wow, Dual Blade looks like the exact same. <laughs> I guess the next one was already okay with the artwork, so they're just keeping it as is, they're not really changing anything there. Both Night Lord and Shadower are looking pretty cool. They have this cold air around them, which you would expect from people growing up in Kurning City, I guess. For all three thieves, I do hope that the developers will give them a bit more power and bigger hitboxes earlier on, because grinding those classes to level 200 was not the most fun experience, in my opinion. I wouldn't really mind seeing some old school skills back, like Avenger for Night Lord or Band of Thieves for Shadower, with like a new look and more damage. I don't think thief classes should be too flashy, since this isn't really in their nature, so I really wonder what they're gonna come up with. And the final three classes are the Crosshair, Buccaneer and Cannoneer, with again the latter not getting any new artwork for Cannoneers. For the Crosshair, we actually already did see some of their new skill animations, with new animations for Broadside, those two ships on the right and left, and their Hurricane skill Rapid Fire. It looks like they're also getting rid completely of the cartoony feel and are going for a more flashy approach. I do hope this class still keeps most of their identity though, I don't want them to become like flashy class numero 10. For Buccaneers, I love that big Leviathan, big water snake team. I hope they give this class a bit more range early on and more skills themed like their fifth job with that big snake because that stuff is pretty cool. And I'm not sure what I actually would want for Cannoneers. More monkeys, I guess. You can never go wrong with more monkeys. And those were all the Explorer class new artworks that were revealed today. Stay tuned for next Thursday when all the reworks will be revealed. We will probably be live watching that on Twitch and create a ton of video content about it as well. And that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Canon, Backspace, OTI, Safronex, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, 
Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Knife Zoo, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy11, Surtito655, Glazen, Brennan Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heopan, Simak, Joshua Alvarez, Striker Elk, Knock MSS, Niu, Tide One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Tiny Slouse, Kosumo Vegas, Riser RU, Eddie Reacts to Things, Dular, Gummy Bullet, Leon Reddle, Booty Warrior GT, Jeremy Stotler, Mr. Nark, Lovebird, and Rev Soli. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!